Hey, what's up to all my YouTube viewers? You're tuned into the first episode of Keeping Up with, Keeping Up with the Dordashians. See, I almost messed that up. I messed it up in the other video that I took off here. But anyway, so um ladies and gentlemen, I'm you know, I'm still doing DoorDash sporadically, really sporadically. Um, but there's got to be a better way out there to make money. So um, I've been looking at various side hustles and all kinds of different stuff that people are doing online. And what I'm starting to do now is I'm starting to do some spring cleaning or winter cleaning or whatever you want to call it to get some of the stuff out of my house that I am no longer using. And I have or stuff that I'm not going to get around to doing right now because my finances ain't straight. When you When you have a bunch of stuff... And you're out here working every single day. You do not have time to, you know, play with your toys or look at your electronics or do whatever. I've bought so many different Bluetooth speakers over the years. Um, I've got Bluetooth speakers everywhere. And I have, I don't even have the time to sit down and listen to music. So I am, right now, I am, I've clean, I'm going through my closet, basically getting rid of, of clothes that I'm no longer wearing. Um... I saw someone mentioning Poshmark, and you know, and, and people got mad, but this is true. Do not this this if you guys can see this, the zipper is like broke on my on my jacket, and, and then down here there's like a hole, and there's also some stains on the shirt. But this is not the shirt to give to donate to anybody to, uh, you know, good give to Goodwill. This this shirt belongs in the trash. Now I did I did run into a company once where they were, um, I guess they were taking old materials and they would just, then they would use, but I, I forgot the number. And so I would donate my old materials and stuff to them. If anybody else knows another place that takes old materials, because even if, if there's a stain in one portion of it, the rest of the material is good if they, they can cut the material off and use it to make something else. But anyway, I, and I don't, I, I really want, I really like sustainability. I mean, I really think it's cool when people uh, use other stuff that people throw away and make good things out of it. But, you know, I got to downsize. And I'm in, like I said, I'm really in the process of thinking about selling everything I have. Not, well, stuff that I really don't need. I mean, like I said, I got multiple Bluetooth speakers. There's a, a Bose speaker right here. I got, you know, hold up a minute. I got this. So this could generate, all this stuff could generate some income. So I can get out of debt. But DoorDash, oh man, I'm being really uh, strict on that. I'm only Now I'm focused on only one area. And today, a lot of orders popped up. I, I saw an order for Taco Bell, nine bucks. And I was just like, okay. But when I saw the mileage, I was like, ah, no. And then I had to drop my truck off to get the brakes done. So in the past couple of days, I've spent, I probably spent two Gs in two days and not even, um, not even trying so I definitely need some form of side gig to um, to start generating income, even YouTube. I, I need to start studying, you know, how people are making YouTube videos and making money off that. I'm not sponsored by anybody or anything like that. I don't know how people are making money. I, I do have a podcast that I'm making a couple of cents on, but I'm going to start really focusing on downsizing and uh, and upsizing my financial status and financial freedom. And like I said, I, I have no time to you know, right now working multiple jobs and doing certain things, I have no time to, you know, watch Dave Chappelle show. I have no time to, you know, watch some Chuck Norris. You know, I've got all these DVDs here. I have, you know, I have no time, you know, I have no time to watch Trill TV with Mac Dre. I mean, I'm always out in these streets hustling and then, you know, emergencies come up and then my money's gone. I have no time to watch. I have no time to even take my favorite Last Starfighter out of the plastic. It's still in the plastic. I've got so many movies and games and everything in the plastic because I'm out here door dashing. I'm out here working this part-time job and I'm not making any headway. So, um, you know, what do you guys think? You know, what is your strategy? What is your, you know, if you're doing door dash, like I said, I've seen people with a whiteboard, but I want to know the real deal. You know, what, what is your strategy? What is, you know, are you taking that instant cash that you get from DoorDash, paying down those low, in, uh, them high interest rate credit cards? Are you doing the backward snowball effect, or what do they call it? You know, to to pay off your debt, or are you running around like a chicken with your head cut off, like me? I want to know. But peace out. Uh, but like I said, I'm going to start really posting a lot of stuff online, uh, various sites, and trying to downsize and get rid of stuff and uh, pay off debt and um, 
you know, get out here and exercise. I did exercise yesterday and the day before. Um, I actually went with my mom. Uh, we did an indoor track uh, here in Colorado. I got the, you know, people see me and they like, oh man, you got the long legs, you're in shape and all that stuff. But running kills me. Outside, they outside here in Colorado. If you're running outside, it's just it's it hurts. I mean, instantly after running outside here in Colorado, I start getting um. I start getting, what do you call it, um, like runners, in, it, it feels like runners induce asthma, uh, so a lot of times my ears will start aching like I don't know what, and then I'll get a sore throat, and it'll just, it's all it's all bad, but um, like I said, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not only focused on DoorDash, I'm focused on trying to find multiple ways to start making money, get out of debt, and get financially free, and uh, I don't know, but like I said, anybody... Give me your, your real deal, the real deal, what you're doing on DoorDash, because a lot of people out here lying. A lot of people is telling the positive and not the negative. And like I said, now I focus on a certain area. And oh, well, let me get into the whole DoorDash thing. The reason why I focus on a certain area is because I know how to get around that area. Uh, you know, I know, you know, people say, you know, how are you going to do these quick turnarounds when you're going to way to areas that are far away and really areas that you don't know you miss turn? And a lot of times, I'm going to tell you this, a guy a Uber, uh, a guy doing an Uber video said this, I think it's like Smart Driver or something like that, but he said, make sometimes if you think you know where you're going, you still need to be using your GPS so you can get out of there in the most time effective way. But I'm going to cut this short, but like I said, I got to make time for my things, and sometimes when you got too many things, you got to get rid of those things and make money and, and do something else. Peace out.